hello, it's Sarah. And Kirby. And she's looking at me like she wants something. But anyway, got my jelly plate out. I pulled some paints. I played last night a little bit, so I'm kind of, um, yeah, not a newbie newbie. But I want to, I watched some videos last night, and I think her name is Cat Hand, her YouTube channel. And she was printing on uh, stickers, labels, like address labels, and I want to do that. I'm going to put yellow. Anywho, um, I, I was pretty, I did pretty good. I posted a picture of just what I did on um, my Facebook. But I know, I don't, I still don't know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like I'm just kind of winging it. I have, I didn't clean off my brayer last night. And I'm thinking there's a couple of little bumpies on here. Oh, I have a, um, <clears throat> To the side over here, I have a composition book. That's what I'm using to wipe off my brayer. So I'll just keep turning pages. And um, let's do one of my little stamps that I made. So I made these stamps uh, out of foam, kids foam, fun foam. So I'm just going to stamp it. And let's pull one of these. This is a sticker sheet, an address um, stickers. And I'm going to print on that because then she did some really cool stuff with the stickers. I mean, you can just add the stickers themselves to a art journal page or whatever. So let's see. So now these are stickers. I'm going to set that aside and just I'm just using regular um, cardstock. This is uh, the Michaels cardstock, um, white. I guess it's like 60 pound or something. So that was just I'll use that to kind of pick up. So let's see, those colors were good. I like the yellows. I'm going to do that again. And this time, so I have some opaque paint. And then I went and got some um, metallics yesterday. These are, um, I'm going to add like a little bit, another actually. No, I like the contrast. Ooh, gold. These are uh, Craft Smart, so they're the cheapest Michaels brand, I guess. And they were, um, I think, $1.29 for the metallics. So that wasn't too bad. So let's see how the gold. I, I think they're a little cheap in that they're, they get really sheer, easy. They don't stay opaque on the um, jelly plate. But let's do a stencil like this this time and I'll put it on that same the paper that I picked up the last one with so that's just going to be the stencil and then actually I'm going to put the stencil down over here and push it onto my um, cleanup paper because there was a lot of paint on that oh my gosh I got a, I got a lot of paint all right so I'm going to take a fresh piece and do this one this is the 8x10 jelly plate, and I've been watching a lot of videos, and there's some cool stuff. I'm very attracted. That looks good. You can see the variation in color. I'll show you at the end what they look like, um, and then I'll do, I'll pick up one more. Um, I like collage. So I think, I'm going to change it up now. We did enough blue. Let's do some pink. I got a couple different metallic Craftsmart. This is the like more brighter pink. And then I got this is, actually this is opaque, so this isn't metallic. Let's do that. And then a little bit of that gold. Oops, what is, oh, how about orange? Yeah, I want to try orange. You know I'm into my pink and orange. My phone is beeping like crazy. So I'm using the um, Speedball Briar. That was what was recommended, I think. I've been watching the Jelly Arts videos, too. They're just sped up. And you know me in my real time. I just learn more from it. Let's put... Ooh, let's do my other stamp that I made. 
I like this one. This has the sun. Oop, I'm sliding all around. Don't want to slide too much. And I could probably pick up color off of this too, let's see. And get the female version of it, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh, that held a lot of paint. I'm gonna go with a sticker sheet again. We'll do a pink sticker sheet. And then what Kat does is she'll just stencil, after these are done and dry, she'll add more to it, doodle on it and everything. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I'll put a link to her video. That's pretty. And I mean, it, it has some metallic to it, but not a ton. Let's pick up, I'll just get a fresh sheet of paper. Um, so I'm not sure the quality of paint really matters or it might, it might really matter, you know? Oh, just the residuals. Um, I liked that, that was the pink. Let's go with this lighter pink. This is um, opaque again. Just the Americana bubble gum. And I'm gonna go with the, the metallic -y, really pink. And what, maybe another color, like, how about purple? Um, do I have a, I'm just gonna go straight purple, like a not metallic. So it'll only be that like really dark pink will be the only metallic on here. And we'll see how that plays out. I'm in my kitchen, did I say that? Because last night it just didn't seem like I had enough room to spread out and like put the wet, the wet papers down. So I'm just hitting my brayer over here and I like that. All right, let's see. Should I, I don't have a lot of big stencils. I don't have hardly any big stencils. Oh, a check. I haven't done that. I'm gonna do a checker, a checkerboard. And then, oh cool, then I pick up the stencil, but I'm going to lay the stencil down on something too, because, let me turn the page here, there's a lot of paint left on the stencil. A lot of paint, look at that. That was like the, the other, you know, of the stencil. All right, now quick, I got to go to, I'm going to just put a fresh paper down on this. This is fun. <laughs> so I'm at eight minutes and my battery's blinking as usual. Ooh, <gasps> look, it has like circles in the middle. I'm just gonna pick up, this one's really pretty though, but I think I'm gonna see if I can pick up that little last bit of those pinks on here. I think I got it. I definitely got some more pinks on there. Oh, this one's cool though. Look at that. Okay, that was 10 minutes. 10 minutes goes fast. So I pulled some different stuff, but I want to do some red and blue. This is a blue Martha Stewart where I turned the fan on. It's blowing all around. Um, red and blue make purple, right? So let's see what this looks like. And I'm going to use some of those. Um, I made some, what are they called? Uh, combs. Ooh, I don't know, it's not getting very purpley, but I like it. Well, I'm putting that on my, it does have a reddish purple. So I have these flowers, these are stamps, and I wanted to see what that would look like. Oh, I like that. And put them on my, there's, I have, I don't know, listen guys, these are just pulled from my stash. Oh wow, this looks like so Hawaiian. Doesn't that look Hawaiian? <laughs> I like this. So I'm just going to um, do a pull with that real quick because I could do more to it, but I don't want to. I think that's pretty just the way it is. Oh, I should have made a sticker sheet with that one. I'm going to do a sticker sheet in that way. Cool. 
Oh, that's bright. Isn't it bright? So what one? Oh, I put the blue metallic and then the red is flat. Wow, that's like one of the brightest ones I've ever done. I'm going to put whatever's under there on top of this. This is just this was just the checkerboard. See if any of that will come off the jelly plate. Eh, not really. All right. I want to do that again, but maybe not as much red. I'm going to go like less paint. Try and do less paint. And that dark blue again, metallic, because they tend to be sheer. The metallics aren't coming up as opaque. So let's see what this does. See, it's not spreading. Oh, there we go. It's still way redder. That red. You know what? I wonder if I squirt a little bit on now. Oh, I should hurry because I don't want it to dry. I'm putting white. I don't know why, but we'll see what happens. I think I lost most of the blue. Most of the blue is gone. But let's do those flowers again. Um, and you kind of wiggle, and that like picks up the paint. And now it looks much pinker than red. Um, it's definitely like the red and you can tell it's red and white mixed. I'm going to do a sticker sheet with this one. All right, I'm panicking here. I'm trying to move because now my fan is on. Oh, I didn't get it on straight. I think I like less paint. Like when I look at these, I like when you can kind of see the white background shining through. But that's very, why is it looking so metallic-y? And what are the, oh, it's because of the sticker sheet. See the stickers are in rows. I mean, that's cool, it's not bad. Let me try and put, this is just my residual page. It has like stripes going through it now. Um, wow, that red one is so red. That is pretty cool. Um, so I have these other things, these combs I was saying. So let's do some purple. Let's just do, this is like dioxazine purple. It's a very <clears throat> dark purple. And I'll do a metallic, like, let me do this light pink metallic. This is called pink blush pearl. I'll put a little bit of extra of that. And me, oh gosh, that was a lot. How about some pansy lavender? This is again not metallic. Oh, these are weird colors. Oh no, this is looks like a lot of paint. <laughs> it's like it leaked over the side. It's so much paint. Oh man, Sarah. That's okay. It's all right. I'll turn the page and scrape off my brighter. The metallic is there, so now I'm going to do one of these things. Let's see. I'm going to go, ooh, 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 and then maybe some circles. I have this cork. Oh, I have this. Boop, boop. You know, I, I like making noises when I do it, too. It's weird. So some circles. Um, I have, oh, this kind of circle. Boop. This will pick up paint like it's a, um, what are these called? Spouncer. So a spouncer, that makes a different kind of thing. And then I have this one and it's just like smaller. This is a fabric castell type of thing. I don't know. All right, let's pull it, pull it, pull it. Caps are flying everywhere. Cool. Hold on, I want to pick up the rest of it before it dries. Kirby, don't steal my cap. Give me that. Come here. Oh, she took it. Kirby, give me it. Good girl. Where is it? Good girl. She gave it back. That never happens. Oh, cool. That's cool. So here's what that one looked like. It's a lot of paint. I got a lot. But I like, I mean, look, I made a pattern without a stencil just from using stuff 
that you have in the house. This red one is crazy. Look, and I mean, it has a lot of metallic. What did I use, that blue? Yeah, I used the blue metallic. This one's kind of my residual one that I've been just wiping everything on, and look how that's coming out. Like, it has a lot going on. I'm gonna do my stamp again, but I like, I'm gonna try that one more time. Let's pick, what colors don't I have a lot of? Yellow, I'm gonna do yellow, orange, and green. How about that? I don't know. So here's some ye oh, yellow. That's kind of like an orange yellow, actually. And here's yellow. Now what color metal? Ooh, green metallic. I have a green metallic. I'm running out of time. Time moves on so fast. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh. See, I kind of like it like that. I don't want it to change. Like, I'm going to do that. So if you just go in one direction, right, that might be what happens there. I'm um, going to do just stripes. And then I'm going to do circles. Yay. Circles. All different kinds of circles. And one more, where's my little cap she just gave me back? Oh, and I know <clears throat> that Faber-Castell is like a, uh, where is it, this one. It's like a solid circle, so I wanna do that. This is cool. I like the geometric. I think I'm gonna add this second pull to that checkerboard one. Oh, I love that one. Let's put this yellow on top of here. Come on, why won't it pick up the second? You gotta re-wet it or something. Oh, there, I got it. <gasps> look, I got a lot of yellow on there. Oh, that's awesome. And look at all this falling down. I need this. Oh, got it. So that was a good one. See, without a stencil, you can still do it. All right, I don't have much time. We're at nine minutes. So I'm going to go away and come back and just show you them all. All right, be right back. Okay, so I'm back in my craft room with a great big pile of stuff in front of me. Um, this is a sticker sheet. Um, I am going to continue on with these. All these sticker sheets I'm going to stencil over possibly. I love how the cross hatching happened. And if you look inside each cross hatching, there's little like dots. I didn't do that. I think the jelly plate like it bubbles up. The paint like pulls away from it and it made dots. Happy accident, right? I think Matt's on his way home with Maya's first day of school today. This one, like I am loving the cross hatching, just adding that, but these are all sticker sheets. Um, I have about, I don't know, I kind of, I went crazy, so I didn't stop when um, I shut the camera off last time. This one's very gold and orange. So these are all sticker sheets that I can play with and add to. I'm gonna do some doodling on those. Like I said, um, Kat, I'm going to look up her channel. I wanna say it's Cat Hand. My computer wasn't working this morning so I couldn't do it. So then these are just some of the um, this was just a dark purple blue one. There's blues and greens underneath, but then this, I, I did two pulls on a lot of the pages too. So I'm kind of figuring out how many pulls do I want to do. I think this was just one pull with one of my big stamps with like three or four different colors. This was a daisy stencil that I have and I just did half of it and then flipped this. I did, I did it in a couple different pulls. <coughs> and again, I'm going back. I can see where I did the, like, I pulled some cross hatching. I don't even know. Like, that's the thing. That's why it's called mono printing, because you're just, you, you can't re reproduce it. You get one shot. That's it. Um, I did try a couple times to, like, recreate the colors. Like, look at this one. This one would be great on a sticker sheet, because there's so many colors, 
and I could play with, like I think this might have been a residual, meaning like a second pull. I did a second pull like three or four times on this one piece of paper, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. I could be completely wrong. Um, so yeah, and uh, this is all on cardstock. I did do one pull on magazine paper too. Um, because Kat does that. Like, look at this. is just stripes. But I can do lots of stuff on top of this one. I'm going to see about that. Because I want to try... Oh, look at this. was one of my faves. The cross hatching in red. So I did a pull with the flowers, like you saw me do, and gold and pink. And then I did some cross hatching, and it was the second pull of the cross hatching. Just gave me a little subtle red cross hatching. I love that one. So, you guys, it was fun. Like, it was hard to stop. <clears throat> this was just a purple, but then I had green on my jelly plate, and I just put, this was the flower green. I went through a stencil um, just to add. This is a piece of magazine paper. And, you know, like, see, there's some dark writing. There's a couple of dark places, but I really covered this up. I don't know, I just wanted to see, and I kept forgetting to use it. I only did one. I kept forgetting to grab it because I had a bunch of, um, and then this is one of my, my reds with the cross hatching. but look at all, I didn't do that. That's not a stencil or anything. The jelly plate did that all by itself. Do you see the little, um, it looks like um, film roll, like a film, the edge of a, an old film. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my God, super cute. So this was just my one of my reds that I went back and added go, uh, green, I think. Yeah, that's green. So crazy. And then this I ended up putting yellow on top. Some of them I'm not crazy about. But if I do collage with the papers that I'm making here, I'm planning on, and then these are ones that I did yesterday. This was just all residuals again, and I call it residuals. But like this was my second pull, just a bunch of second pulls on one sheet of paper. Um, I really love those big stamps I made, so I'm going to look into making some more foam stamps uh, just with fun foam and like because I used the flowers today and that was awesome, but I think um, I would like to make different shapes and bigger flowers and different stuff like that. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, collage. Again, oh look at this one, purple and yellow. This purple was done. This was from yesterday, but this yellow I pulled today because I had a lot of yellow on my jelly plate and it was, I just felt like adding that, but I like purple and yellow. And this one would have been another good sticker sheet because it's got lots of colors. And this is that daisy um, stencil again. Pink and orange. Uh, oh, I love my swirls. See the swirls? But then you can see the big circles too. I need bigger stencils. I want to get some big stencils. I don't know where to get them. There's so many stencils. This one has daisies in the background. This is from yesterday. There's so many stencils on the market. This one's cool. This has like the male and female versions of that um, flower stencil. So it looks like I did it a few times on here. That's cool. This, the blue was, I did it through the stencil, so I only pulled up what was in the stencil. But like, the pink looks like I did the negative because, oh anyway, that's cool. That's a cool one, I like that one. That's my stamp again. Just some green swirls. Sometimes the plain ones are good. Oh, this was yesterday, I was playing with a lot more stencils. Um, numbers and letters, I have under there. This is the daisy underneath swirls, I think. I like the swirls, it's just simple. Red and orange, and this looks like the front and back, so like I'd stenciled and then I flipped the stencil over and got like the negative side. And some more of that. Looks like I just put the stencil down after I used it and kind of wiped it off on here. And that's the other thing too. I used, um, I told you I used a, um, composition book to to um, clean my briar so look at these these are cool cat uses these too because look you don't even know what you're gonna get and you might just get a happy accident of color right so like I could stamp on top of that and that's a background for an ATC card oh you know what I did though I used front and back 
I should only use one side in case I, well, look, this has pink, green, purple, so three colors. It was fun. I mean, and the thing is, it, it didn't take long, and you get a lot. So now I have to use up these papers. I have to try and figure out a way to use them up. So then I started stamping off my stamp that I had. I was like stamping that off too. And here's my blues and greens and purples because this is the, the last page I started to do. So I thought this was a better idea because yesterday I was using this like, this is Maya's, like you know that kids paper you get? Because I don't have any deli paper. But this is, I thought this was, this reminded me of like what you wrap a sub with. Um, here in New Jersey, we have subs, not heroes or hoagies. But I was using this yesterday, sitting at my desk. So this has a lot more color. But I'm going to save it. And I'm going to stamp on top of it and doodle and see if I can use this in collage. Or maybe just cut it into shapes. That's what I'm thinking, because I bought these two huge canvases. I think I'm going to cut some shapes, some squares and rectangles. Um, I'm going to get a big circle punch, too, and just do some collage on the canvas. Just collage down a bunch of these papers, and then do stamping on top and doodling, and see what that's like, because, I mean, that's, I've always enjoyed mosaics. So this is a paper mosaic, basically, is what I'm figuring, you know, what I'm thinking it's going to end up looking like, you know. Um, and then once I get the hang of it, I can do more of a, um, what would the, an abstract shape one, or you could do a florally, swirly, flowery one, or, you know, or just stick with certain colors, like just do all pink and orange papers. That's it. So anyway, you'll see some of that in the future. And you guys, um, I apologize for no not doing um, Polymer Clay Tuesday. Um, I don't think that works for me, having a scheduled video session. <laughs> Evidently it doesn't. Um, and I think it's just, you never know what you're gonna get with me. Maybe that's part of the appeal, I don't know. But um, as always, thanks for watching.